Hi guys, this is part two of the Eyes Wide Open album. If I did this, it's basically because my reaction got blocked, so I have to split it on two. Uh, but yeah, let's go with the rest of the album. Let's go to the next one, which is Queen. And again, we have a song by Dobu. The last one was a lot, so I really want to know if they go towards like the same direction. Okay, let's go. Queen. Okay. Oh my god, I get surprised every freaking time. It's a show. Oh, help! Yes, I'm a queen. I feel like this can be like taking us them being idols, you know? Oh. Obsessed. Dovo, I really love your songs. <laughs> Just a show, baby by Che was everything. Yes, I love this one. Throughout that song, I, 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 I really felt like reading the lyrics, I really felt like it might not be as much directed to us as herself. I feel like it makes a bit more sense that she's talking about like themselves, like do herself. Because we know she's... Like you guys have told me a lot that she's probably the, the one that's the most different like behind the scenes and that they that the all the twice members say it, that she's probably the one that that's different because she's like she feels like an extrovert when she's doing like content so i i do feel like maybe it's a, a it's a, a way of saying that idols at the end of the day we don't know who they are really 
like on their real normal usual selves like we know the 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 faces that they put in front of cameras so i feel like this was kind of a way of saying even if no one like i think there's there, there was a lyric that said even if no one sees you know who you are or something like that so i do feel like it might go to more of like idols than or like herself more than to anyone you know it's just it's just a lot i i feel like the lyrics were a lot but the song by itself like the beat and everything was insane they sounded so so good but i was so invested in the freaking lyrics again they sound insane so I'm, this song is really really good i really like it my god this is getting out of hand <laughs> the next one is again not written by anyone it's called go hard so let's see Let's go. She looks so good with this pinkish reddish hair. Wow. Okay. Oh girl, what the fuck? Oh, wow. Shut the fuck up. I was not expecting that drop. That's crazy. Whoa! I'm obsessed. Oh, we go why, we go why, do see the light? You have to be fucking good at me. Oh, this song is it. This song is it. <laughs> song is on it's so soft. What the fuck? Oh, I love that line. Oh, this is everything. Oh yes, I'm obsessed with this one. I'm obsessed. Okay, we found it, guys. We found the make me go of this album. Um, we found it. I love this song. Whoa, <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, the lyrics literally are everything. They are everything, and like the beat, like this drop, and like the curse only being like that drop and the we just go hard lyric oh i'm obsessed i'm obsessed i'm completely obsessed okay my god that shocked me i wasn't expecting that okay the next one is shot clock shot clock 
What does that mean? Shot clock. Okay, let's see what they do with this one. I'm so, uh, to be honest, I'm actually stressed now. After that song, I'm okay. Let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> we don't have a freaking break. Do we have to kind of rub it? Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Look what's going on. Yes, the lyrics. There's no fucking way I ranked this album. There's oh my god. There's no fucking way. I wait. There's no fucking way. There's no way. This song was everything again. This was crazy. Are you kidding me? What I take from this song is like the freaking rap. The rap was crazy. Like Che kind of rapped before and then Dubu started and then Che followed again and that was insane. That that was insane and the beat goes hard. It kind of reminded me, this is gonna sound so weird, but like it kind of reminded me of like a little mix song. There's one in particular that I have in mind, but like I don't remember how it's called. I don't know. It kind of reminded me of one of their songs and it's so fun because that's amazing. I love that group as well, so it's it's insane. It's insane. I love this one so much. Wow. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is Handle It. Oh, it's written by Che Young. Okay. We've heard a few songs from her, so I'm excited. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Oh! Oh my god, completely different. Oh my god. I was so surprised by Sana, like I didn't notice it was her. I was just reading the lyrics and like, what the fuck? I love this one so much. This album is just crazy. It's literally out of this world. Che, Chui, Mina and Sana are probably the ones like before that stood out the most to me in this song because the vocals are crazy like Mina. As well, like Mina and Sana were probably the two that I was like, what the fuck? I don't know if I've heard them go like this low or like this singing, talking. So good. I love it. This album is insane. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, the next one is the Depend On You, which is written by Nyon. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, they look so pink, so cute, so Barbie-like in these pictures. What the fuck? There's a live performance? Or is that only a talk show? Okay. I'm excited. Let's go. Right away, my god. Oh, 
the outer two and I love it. Wow. The other tone. Oh, it's so good. so good Nayeon really knows what she's doing like she really really knows this is definitely some uh, like the type of song that I needed after all the other ones because I feel like with in like this the album so far we've not really had a break you know what I mean even though some of them were kind of softer like nothing like this one this one is not like a ballad or anything either but like I just feel like this is like the perfect time to play like the perfect placement for the song because you at this point you're like you've done maybe six songs or like more 10 songs you've done 10 songs already and like that are like all the same level of hype so I feel like it was the perfect timing for this one because you really get to like relax and like just listen to this perfect song like it's literally a perfect song they all sound so good, the lyrics are so cute, like it was just a feel-good cutesy song and I love it. 10 out of 10. Nayeon really knows what she's doing with these songs. It's crazy. Okay, we only have two songs left. Say something and behind the, ma behind the mask. This video is literally so long, so it is what it is. We have to appreciate these songs to the fullest, so I'm really, really excited. Let's go with this one. These last two songs don't have credits, so yeah, let's go. Say something. Oh, change up again. Oh, okay. God. The piano. I'm obsessed. Ooh. Oh my god, this does have like a nostalgic vibe. Like, we just went back 20 years. Oh 
Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It has like a. Oh, sorry. Oh, the piano, for fuck's sake. Soft, like it's so. Mm. Ooh, it's like even comforting, like the melody. Oh, it's so good. This is so cool. This is so good. Oh fuck yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. I love it. I love it. City Pop. This is called City Pop. This gives me big 80s Japanese City Pop vibes. Well, maybe not 20 years, maybe mm, more. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this saxophone at the end. If that, I think that was a saxophone. <sighs> this just gives me everything I needed and more. Like this is so cool. I didn't know I needed this type of song from them. Like I've I've said this before from like which I don't even remember which song I said this for um but like it's so good. So 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 good. I don't know what city pop is, but like everyone's saying city pop, so yeah. Um it's so good. I just love this one so much. I feel like this one is apps like so different. So 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 different. I don't we've never heard twice like this and I feel like it's a really new but like amazing approach like it's literally so so good and they all fit this like this style so much okay let's go with the last one the last one for this album I'm so excited this album has been insane honestly like 10 out of 10 every song is crazy so I'm really excited to see how they finish this album. Behind the mask. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Oh, Geo Solo. Behind 
Yeah, perfect song to end the album. Mina, so freaking low, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's kind of chill as well, like, it's really good. I love the line. I just realized it said twice again and once again. This song was everything. Oh my god, 10 out of 10, this freaking song. Oh my god, they have a special live replay. It's so good. I'm lonely, but I'm trying. This is so cute. I feel like, yeah, it's literally the, the, best, the best song to finish this album. And it's so good. Even though the, like, the lyrics are sad, it's just so good. Sad but good, you know what I mean? And I love that they said twice again and once again. I didn't like realize at, for, at first, but like, yeah. Thank God I realized at the end. <laughs> um, It's sad, but it's so like so good. It's so good. The perfect end for this album. And I honestly feel like this album was like a 10 out of 10. There's not a skip song. So I'm really, really happy and proud of them to do like a full album that's literally a 10 out of 10. It's so good. Oh my god. I'm so proud of them and I'm so happy. But well, this uh, this is long enough. I don't know if next week I'm gonna do maybe like another few episodes of Time, of, of time to Twice or if I'm gonna continue with the albums. So I guess we'll see. But I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This is everything. I love, 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 love this album. And yeah, well, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>